It called men to duty and children to school, and mother at home timed their meals to its tune. For years and years it signaled a hoot like a trumpet or bugle, dividing each day to hours and minutes and seconds too. The sound of that hooter shook many from bed. It called folk to breakfast and high evening spread. Men timed their goings to its constant cry. It was pattern for living that ne'er told a lie. But now it is silent. No more do we hear its sound o'er the lakeside, far meadow or near. Now all is so quiet, like some day always. No sound from the quarry, no thrill in the air. No joy for the bride who waits for that sound, to tell her her sweetheart is now homeward bound. The magic is gone, the power of that horn is silenced forever. The work is well done. For decades the steam forced the quivering sound to vibrate through the mountains and every world's mound. The wind sent it trembling across the face rock to call man to labour, for that was his stock. The horn shrilled at conscience at sunset that man could go home and rest from the mandate of the old quarry horn. The mists of the mountains could deaden the sound of that crafty hooter at times we all found. But no man ever doubted the horn was not there, performing its duty through cold, misty air. The mysterious, symbolic, a horn in our land, we knew of its presence, but ne'er saw his stand. At Christmas and Easter, and Sabbath days too, the horn would be silent, and on thanksgiving too. How strange to lie dosing on such a fine morn, and hear no vibrations from the old quarry horn. How peaceful and quiet, no sound rents the air. Dumb, silent, all signals, while man kneels in prayer. We did love that hooter. We must miss his refrain that echoed sweet music throughout its domain. Like pulled string of fiddle, like bass organ notes, like muffled low drum, it still lives in our heart. No recording angel hath captured on disc the song of that hooter. Too late now, too late. Yeah.